Hello YouTube and welcome to my review of the 12 inch perfect model Wild Tiger from the anime series Tiger and Bunny. Now people have been asking me for quite a while if I was going to either buy or review the SH Figure Arts Wild Tiger and the answer is no I will not be getting a Figure Arts Wild Tiger because I have this masterpiece right here. Now the main reason I never got the Figure Arts version of Wild Tiger is because he could not go into 100 power mode because of, of lack of LEDs and that was his main power in the show so I felt that I should wait for this release because it had the LEDs. Now let's go ahead and get into articulation. For head articulation Wild Tiger can move side to side pretty good. He can move down a good bit and up a little bit. Now, notice I didn't even try to do a 360. If you do, his head will pop off, like so. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, it's not loose or anything. It's a, actually quite firm once you get it on there. It's not going to come off or anything. For torso articulation, he has a joint here and a joint there which allow him to twist a little bit at the top joint and a little bit at the bottom joint so all in all he can go about that far to the side can lean a little bit he can go back just a little bit and forward just a little bit for arm articulation, his arm can rotate 360 degrees. It can go out that far. It can be brought forward. There's a special joint in there that allows for it. The shoulder pad is on a hinge, and it's it's pretty tight. So I mean, any little little correction you want to make, it can stay wherever you put it. The shoulder has a swivel. It can't do three three hundred sixty degrees because of the way it's shaped right here, but uh, still very good swivel. The arm, I'm sorry, the elbow is a single joint but it still gets about 90 degrees actually a little bit more but uh, the hand it's on a ball joint and it can rotate a little bit uh, if you want better articulation for the hands um, or um, better rotation for the hand you kinda have to pop it out and then put it back in the position that you want it in but uh, for the fists, I tend to just leave them straight. For leg articulation, the hips can spread pretty darn far. So you can get as wide kicks as you would possibly need. The leg can also swivel right here at the hip, right there. The legs can be brought forward little bit not much uh, the joint is really really tight um, this one can go a little bit further but um, the knees are double jointed so you get a really good bend out of them and the foot can rotate a little bit. It can be brought down a little bit, brought up a little bit, and go side to side a little bit. So overall, not SH Figure Arts quality articulation, but for a figure this size it is actually pretty decent. 
Wild Tiger comes with a good bit of accessories. So starting with the heads, he just comes with his standard head with the light up gimmick in the back. Just a simple little switch. Then he comes with a secondary head that uh, you can close, but I just keep it open just because uh, I already have a closed one. So that's nice. The SH Figure Arts had an entirely separate release just for this head mold. So I'm glad they included it with the perfect model instead of having some stupid other release. Moving on to the hands. He comes with a pair of fists. A pair of chopping hands. A pair of tiger shot or wild shot hands. Don't remember exactly what it's called. It's one of the two. Comes with a pair of splayed open hands. Comes with a pair of thumbs up hands. And his last hands are unique because, uh, well, they may look like they're splayed open hands. They're actually fully articulated hands. Now we'll demonstrate. Each finger has multiple joints, allowing them to be bent in any direction that you want them to. So, I mean, if you wanted to, you can just make like a simple fist or, you know, you could uh, have Wild Tiger flick someone off or, you know, peace. Peace, dude. But, uh, very cool that he comes with articulated hands. Next up, let's start, let's start with the shoulder pad. He comes with a replacement shoulder pad. Instead of having the soft bank, you can have the family marked. So, uh, just to demonstrate real fast. I'm going to grab Wild Tiger here. Basically, uh, you just pop it off the hinge. It's easy to do. You just remove it. Put this one on it. Good to go. That simple. Now, with the Wild Shot slash Tiger Shot, this is a little more complicated. Now, on other versions of, the, uh, of Wild Tiger, it's a very hard, complicated mess to get these things to fit on. But on this release, they make it easier. Right here, there's a button, and you press it, and basically, it pops the arm off. You just uh, press it, and it, it loosens it. Now, once you have it on, let me uh, put it on real fast. Once you, once you have it on, he is not going to, you know, fall off, you know, the armor's not going to fall off, but it just makes it very easy to uh, put the um, wild shot slash tiger shot into his hands. Now there's a little hole right here, and there's a peg right there. Just put that in there, and uh, rotate the handle, and it will go into his uh, hand. It's that simple. And Wild Tiger's last little accessory is his display base. It has a nice engraved Wild Tiger. Kind of stands out a little bit. So that's nice. And it comes with a uh, little figure grabber to uh, grip him on a metal pole. And the really nice thing about this, so you don't scratch the figure, it has little rubber inserts in here in here so you don't so you don't rub off any paint or anything. So you just put it into the hole. And 
There you go. Now, time for a little size comparison. Here you see Wild Tiger in all of his uh, massive glory. Next to a standard size SH Figure Arts. Now, obviously, Wizard is not standing right now, but you just get a sense of scale between the two. And uh, it really goes to show you that uh, Wild Tiger is huge. Now, moving on to the part of the figure that sold me on this over the SH Figure Arts the 100 power light up gimmick. Now, the SH Figure Arts may come with the good luck mode, but 100 power mode is what Wild Tiger and Barnaby Brooks Jr. use most often. And the SH Figure Arts can't do it, which is why I opted for this release. Now, every ligament has its own power switch. You just flip it. One right here. 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 And now he's all lit up. Final thoughts, Bandai did an excellent, excellent job with their 12 inch perfect model of Wild Tiger. And if the Barnaby Brooks Jr. release is even half this good, I will be completely satisfied. Uh, this guy retails for about $250. You can get him on places like eBay and Amazon. So definitely pick yours up today. And if you think I'm faking this stance right now, uh, let's take a closer look. As you can see, he is being supported only by one foot with no stand or strings attached at all. So, with that, I'll see you at the next review.